Hey, hey, hey. Wagwan people. Yes. What's happening? Welcome back to our channel. That's right, guys. We're about to cook one of our favorite, favorite recipes. Yes. Aki and saltfish with some yam. Mm. Yeah. Some avocado or pear. They say in Jamaica. Listen, this recipe, guys, is yes. amazing. It's one of my all time favorites. Loved it growing up at grandma's yard. Mm. Aki and saltfish on a Saturday morning. Oh. Those fried dumplings as well. Listen. Mm. You're, gonna, you're in for a treat today, guys. That's in right. for a treat. That's right, guys. And we've added some yam in there as well to bolster up, you know, those lovely starchy vegetables as Caribbeans love to do. Mm -hmm. And some fried planting and avocado as well. Yeah, man. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, man. Big boy breakfast. Trust me. First things first, I have to start off with the yam. You can use puna yam or yellow yam. Mm -hmm. Yellow yam's more expensive. That's why I got the puna yam. It's more cheaper. <laughs> but it's just as flavorful. Um, yam is basically a starchy carb. Great side dish mm -hmm. and greatest part of half food. So this is actually the longest um, ingredient in this recipe in it. So we're probably going to start for the yam first. So it's going to bring it to a boil, going to peel it off the yam, and then we're going to yeah. chuck it into the boiling water. Yeah, man. Get the yam out of the way first. Get your water in, guys. It's about a cup of water in a small saucepan. Mm -hmm. And while that's boiling, I'm going to peel the yam. There's so many ways to peel it. Make sure you're not peeling off too much of that. This. Make sure you cut away, guys, and not towards yourself. Be careful with the knife. You can use a potato peeler as well, make it a bit easier. I'm doing the old school. I realize this is actually yellow yam. It's yellow yam. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't realize, but boy, yellow yam is even better. What's the difference in taste? Bro? It's a bit more sweeter taste, a bit more richer taste on the yellow yam. Mm. And it's mainly used in Caribbean more time. Mm. Cut into thick wedges. See that? He's, the arm used to be strong to cut this, you know. So I've got about four pieces here. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to wash them. Let's add a bit of water. Give it a rinse. It also adds a bit of lime juice as well. This will help to keep the colour of the yam. It can easily get discoloured, especially yellow yam. So add it to boiling water. Right guys, I'm going to start cutting up my veggies for the ackee and the saltfish. So we've got one onion, we've got one bell pepper as well, red and yellow. We've got some tomatoes that I'm going to chop up, also some spring onions, also some garlic cloves as well, and the scutchy scutchy bonnet for the little spice and some thyme as well. I'm just going to dice it, dice it up. Just roughly chop this one, yeah. Grandma used to have it, make it for us on the weekend sometimes when we were good. You know, used to wake us up in the morning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Those good days. Christmas day as well. Every Christmas morning. Every Christmas About morning. fell, Aki and Saltfish. Easter. Mm. All the time. Now we know how to make it, we can make it anytime right now. Anytime. So we've got red bell peppers, we've got yellow, and we have green. Mm -hmm. We've got the vibrant colours going on. Look at the big pair there. Massive. Look how big that is. That's massive, man. That is you only get those kind of pears in tropical climates. Mm. You go to supermarkets yeah. and you, you see some little, small little, little, piece. little pear. Little pear. Too small, man. It's never right. It's never right as well. You no. open it up, it's just black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this dish, mm. so much different vegetables in there, man. Yeah. Look, you can't complain. More than, more than your five a day. Guys, make sure you use a large pan because we're making a large amount of ackee and saltfish to feed the whole family, you know. We eat big out here, you know. <laughs> we have a big family and enough mouth to feed. That's right. And also some food for the next day as well. Next few days, man. You can yeah. freeze it, you can put it in the fridge. Yeah, man. Yeah? That so. ackee is so, so special. You have to eat it the next day, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Before someone else keeps it from the fridge. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to go over a bit of vegetable oil, guys, first. About two tablespoons. Yeah, cool. So now we're just going to put the onions in there with the spring onions, the one onion, garlic as well, and the scotch bonnet. I'm just going to saute all these vegetables down for up to about five minutes, guys. Get some caramelization on this. This will release all the flavors from these veg veggies. So guys, I'm going to add in my veggies. So my bell peppers goes in and tomatoes. All roughly chopped. Yeah man, that's the great thing about Caribbean cooking. The colours just bring that brightness and sunshine to your kitchen, man. 
Beautiful. Continue to cook these down on a low heat, low to medium heat. Mm -hmm. So we've got that sweetness cut going in now. Guys, right, while my brother's just softening those veggies, I'm gonna start on the fried dumplings. So here, guys, we've got some self-raising flour. So we go in with about 350 grams of that. We've got some water now. I'm just gonna put some water in there. So how much water? First, wait, stem one's there, yeah. bro. I can't lie to you, I just do it by eye. Yeah, yeah. The dumpling thing, I do it by eye. I can't lie to you, man. I think usually going with a cup, but gradually, isn't it? Yeah, and gradually. Then... You gradually go, just put the whole water in. Yeah. Just gradually go in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 y
Yeah, and like my brother said, to, to serve more people. Yeah, man. Serve more people. Feed the 5,000, you know? Trust me. You can imagine back in the days as well. Mm. So uh, this is used a lot, so got to feed everyone. So there's a lot of salted cod here, you know? Mm. And you can smell the salt from it already. Mm. When you boil it down, you can smell the salt from the salt fish. We probably don't even need salt into this dish at all. If any, maybe a little bit just to combine all the flavours, but we don't really need any. So as I boiled the saltfish earlier, it's basically pre-cooked yeah. right now. So I'm just going to incorporate all the bell peppers, all the onions and garlic. Mm, and now, seasonings. all the natural seasonings. And now I'm going to start adding my ground seasoning now. With black pepper, so key to fish this week, guys. With fish, you don't need to season it too heavily. But black pepper is so, so key to fish dish. It's all natural ingredients, guys. You don't necessarily need seasoning. You can add in some all-purpose if you want to, but we're trying to keep it as natural as possible. Yeah, man. If you add in an all-purpose, just to lift up the flavors. Mm. Totally up to you. So I want to add in my aki now, guys. Yeah. So this is aki. It's a nice, creamy, flavorful, like nutty flavor as well. Yeah. Um, it's quite expensive. Trust me, make aki cheap again, I'll tell you. Make <laughs> it cheap again, man. Because boy, it's like five pound a tin. Let us so, know how much so it is expensive. in your area. So I know the Americans are saying ten dollars and things yeah. like that. Some people don't like ackee. It's a bit similar to egg, you know, but it don't taste like egg. It tastes no, better than egg. Like it. <laughs> it's got a nice creamy, nutty texture and flavour. And the reason why I'm putting it at the end mm. because it needs some TLC, you know. Because yeah. listen, don't go in there mashing it up, you know. Yes. You have to put it in carefully and just let it steam now. Turn it down to a very low heat. Because the aki is already pre-cooked as it's in a tin. So, so good in its natural form. Yes, it is in a tin, hmm? but it's as good as what we can get over here in the UK and it tastes so good, man. It's yeah. so, so good. I remember when we went to Jamaica, we were picking aki off a tree. Yeah. You know, just taking out the black <laughs> little, what are they called again? Um, the it's not poison. There's like a red poisonous bit. So yeah. if, you, if you get it wrong, uh, it could be dangerous, man. You have to but, basically, when it drops, that's when it's ready. If yeah. it's not dropped, you can't just pick it. He has yeah. to drop, that's when you know it's ready. And once the hands open, yeah, it's fully open, open. It's such a you know it's ready. Dish as well, yeah, and some black pepper now. Yep, yeah. put a of black pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Be gentle, guys, take your time. Don't go in there mashing up the aki. Open up the planting, don't even cut off the ends, guys. We're trying to, we're trying to waste no planting out here. If you don't have any planting in your area, what would you say is a good alternative? Or well, banana. <laughs> <laughs> Season off a banana, man. <laughs> There's no alternative. I can't even lie. There's no alternative. Maybe in this dish, it's just, you know, I don't know. Banana. There's no alternative to plotting, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no. Maybe plantain. I think something sweet, you know. So. Plantain. <laughs> <laughs> the way how them man do it over there. <laughs> <But>. <laughs> <laughs> banter, <laughs> banter. Guys, the dump is done. It's to the nice colour. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. I love it when I see the bubble. Look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> That's how it should be. I've got the nice crispiness on the outer. I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes on about 100 um, degrees, mm. maybe, for about, 50, about 10 minutes. This is the save time, guys. And my bro said we're just putting in some planting in there as well. All right, guys. Time for eat. It's time for eat. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go with the aki and saltfish first. Mm. No, the, the smell is absolutely incredible, guys. You know, it's formed the world. We still got the shellish look in there as well even got a piece of time in there as well why not every time every time every time go with the yam and the kana you know yeah, man. we're going with the planting nice and sweet nice and ripe yeah man so now we're gonna go in with the fluffy and crunchy dumplings yeah. it's like there's one thing missing one yes. thing missing man the pear. Avocado. Yeah, man. The biggest pear you ever see. <laughs> no, my brother's gonna chop it up now. A little yard style. Be careful, yeah? Be careful, guys. Don't try this at home if you don't know how. Mm. Look at that. Mm. How big that pear is. Look at the seed. 
look at the seed, man. Wow. Real, real pair this, Incredible. man. Incredible. Look at it. It just looks so good to eat. I can't wait to have that, man. Yeah, man. Love it. Perfect. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Can you do that? Come below nice. if you can do that. I can't do that. Easy, <laughs> nice and easy, man. Don't worry, it's not a recipe book. <laughs> Look at that pear, guys. So juicy, yet firm as well. Oh, it's so big. Lord have mercy. Okay, so now, guys, you're just going to score it down the middle and the inner core of it. And it should be easy for you to just flesh out form the perfect yeah. avocado shape. Look how big you see this from the avocado. It comes like the dumpling. You wanna fight? You wanna fight with the dumpling? The size. Look see, this is what they give you in the supermarkets. Mm. This is what you get when it's from an exotic island like Jamaica mm. or the Caribbean. So mm. which one would you choose? So guys, if you wanna get something like that, just go to your, you know, even like your Asian market, your Asian veg. Africa and the Caribbean market and it should have the avocado like that as well. Woo! Look at that. Look at that pear so uh, juicy with the rest of the ackee and saltfish, the yam, the fried dumpling. Oh gosh. When you have avocado, you have to have the cast. The cast. The cast. Cast black pepper on top. Let's give it that finish. There you have it guys. Listen. It's done. Ackee and saltfish. Fried dumpling, mm. fried dumpling, yam, Hi. avocado. Ready to eat? Lord Hey, give me that, give me that fork, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with a bit of dumpling. I'm gonna go with the planting. Bit of and dumpling, the bit of ackee and saltfish. Lord. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Natural flavor. So good, guys. No additive, no MSG, natural seasonings, natural flavour. Mm. Guys, you have to make this recipe. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I don't oh know where to start. Days. I've got the dumplings. I've got the mm. pear. I don't know where to start, boy. Wow. Wow, I mean, look at that dump. Look at the dumpling, guys. Mm. Dumpling so fluffy. Oh my gosh. Mm. Crunchy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. It's so soft. Sorry, but I'm gonna eat this whole dumpling myself. <laughs> That's cool, man. Give me the yam as well. A bit of the hard food. Oh my god. A bit of the hard food. With the ackee and saltfish. Mmm. Wow. Guys. Mmm. The yam is good, boy. So good. Mmm. My mouth is full. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you soon, yeah? Take care. <laughs> Yo, come back to my food, man. Nah, man. <laughs>